Hi guys! Alright, so tonight we are going to make Cubans. Cubans um, are a press sandwich. It's something that I had when I was in Florida. I have an ode to Okeechobee here. That's where I was living for the last five years before I moved back to Pennsylvania. Um, but it is a wonderful sandwich and because I'm low carb, I don't eat the bread. So I have made it my own by just making the filling. So I hope you'll try it too. So if you don't know what a Cuban is, it's marinated pork, ham, Swiss cheese, dill pickles, mayonnaise and mustard. It is delicious. I know it sounds like a weird combination if you've never had it, but try it. My family never had it before I came along and now they love it. Now sometimes um, if the kids are more hungry, I'll go ahead and make it as a press sandwich and you just take some French bread or some Cuban bread, butter it up, put the insides that we're going to make in it, and then you just do it like a grilled cheese. So just a press sandwich. Like I said, today we're not going to do that. We're not going to use any bread. We're just going to make the filling. So come along. Let's try it. All right, guys, so I want to show you, this is the mojo uh, marinade that I use for the pork. This is, again, one of those things that I picked up in Florida. So I just marinated these, uh, they're very thin pork chops, for about six hours. I put them in this morning, I put them in the fridge. So I marinated them, I put them on the plate, I also salt and peppered them. And that's all I did because the mojo carries all the seasoning. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our skillet, I preheated it, and I'm going to put the ham in. So this is um, some ham ends that I had in the freezer. You can use whatever ham that you have. So if you have sliced ham, that would be great. I've used that before, like ham from the deli. Um, these are just the regular smoked ham. I also like to keep the ham that I have left over from Easter. And I'll just put that in. Sometimes it's flat like this, sometimes it's chopped up, it's whatever you have. So we're just going to warm up the ham. I had a little bit of oil in here. I actually made sausage this morning uh, for breakfast for the week because I do like to cut my breakfast and my lunches. Uh, and that is something that we'll get into. So I just, I'm using the same skillet. I have the fat in there. It wasn't a whole lot, but It'll have a little bit of extra flavor. So that's what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna warm up the ham. And I'm actually gonna grab a plate for that. All right, so I have the heat at a little bit below medium. Uh, again, this is the gas range, so just, you know, everybody's ovens are different, their stoves are different. Just do the best that you can. So we're just gonna kinda yeah, get a little brown on. So once we do the ham, I'm going to put that onto the plate. I'm going to cook the pork chops. Now, the pork chops are raw. Again, they're the very thin pork chops that I used for the walnut crusted pork that we made uh, the other day. So this is the leftover pork that I had. And we're going to do that, um, and then I will build the sandwiches and show you how that's done. All right, so we're just going to let these babies warm up, hopefully get a little bit of a brown on them, and we'll go from there. Okay hey guys, so my ham is looking a little bit brown, it's on both sides, so we're just going to put that over here to the side. Now as you might notice, I already have my Swiss cheese cut up, I also have some dill pickles. These funny little things here are, what are they? They're peppers, they're banana peppers. So Kaylin, our oldest, uh, requested that we put banana peppers on his, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so I have the pan that I just took the ham out of. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. It is still pretty hot. We are going to drop the pork chops, and we're going to cook them about two minutes aside. So again, I've let them sit out for about 20 minutes, just to come to temp. It's getting hot in here. All right, so I don't want to crowd my pan because if you crowd your pan, then they don't actually brown up nicely. They kind of steam, and we don't want that to happen. So we're just going to do those four. I have two more. Again, I'm going to let them go for two minutes each side. I don't want to fully cook them. 
because what's going to happen is I will put the mayonnaise and the mustard on them. I will put the ham, the pickles, uh, some of the banana peppers, and the cheese, and then we're going to continue to cook it for about another two minutes. So we don't want our pork to be chewy because who wants chewy pork? So that's why we're going to do it at a higher heat to get a nice little brown on them because brown food is good food. And then we'll go from there. All right. So I have to tell you that one of the things that I miss about Florida is not the hurricanes, but I do miss the food. And Cubans are one of the things that I definitely miss, although I'm happy that I'm able to bring that home here to Pennsylvania and share it with my family who have never actually had a Cuban until I made this for them. All right, so we're gonna go about another two minutes on that. And I'm not gonna make you watch it, so whenever we go to assemble and I show you how this goes, we'll be back. All right guys, so we're gonna take our pork, which has cooled down a little bit, and we're gonna to start to build our knot sandwich. <laughs> so uh, Cuban, again, I told you has mayonnaise and mustard. So we're gonna put a little bit of mayonnaise on there. I'm gonna put it back in the skillet. I have it on really low because I have to build as I have it cooking. So I'm just, again, doing a little bit of mayonnaise. And then what I'm going to do is I'm kind of place them together because we're going to build a sandwich uh, on top of each other. So we're going to squirt a little bit of mustard. This is a regular yellow mustard, not anything fancy. Just going to put that around so that you get the flavor in every bite. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the pickles on. So again, these are dill pickles. I drained them a little bit on a paper towel so they wouldn't be too soggy. Now we're gonna place our ham on top. And kind of tear that one. Okay. Again, this is all of the good stuff you're gonna get in a Cuban. And then we're gonna put the Swiss cheese. All right, so there is the, that's our not sandwich Cuban. Are you tired of me saying that yet? All right, so you're not gonna miss the bread, I'm telling you. So I'm gonna put the lid on it. We're gonna let it go for just a few. I'm gonna turn that up just a little bit. We're gonna melt the cheese and then that will be our Cuban less sandwich. All right, and it is a knife and fork sandwich, just to let you know. Um, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could probably do a pork chop and all of the toppings, like the, the ham and the pickles and the Swiss cheese as a, like you can put another piece of pork on top. I'm making a sandwich that way. I can't eat that much, so I'm not doing it that way. <laughs> so right now we're just gonna do it like this. And want to keep an eye on it again I don't want to overcook overcook those pork chops so that's important to me is to make sure that the cheese is melted but the pork is not overcooked a little bit of water and that creates the steam that will hopefully help melt the cheese I should have made this one for Kaylin and put the peppers on it we'll make another one it'll be okay Now, the other thing is I had a block of Swiss cheese that I used. I just sliced it up pretty thin to put it on. If you, you know, want to shred it, that would be great. Um, there's the slices that they make in the store. You can use those. Again, I usually buy whatever is on sale and then use what's in the fridge or in the freezer. And that is just how we cook. Uh, like I said, with the ham, those are ham and ham and ham ends that I had in the freezer. Um, I just use whatever's on, yeah, whatever I have. All right, so you can see that it has started to melt. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. I'm gonna 
make the rest of the sandwiches and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right guys, so we have our Cuban and the one that you saw me make was actually for Kaylin. It's a little bit larger. This is the one that I will eat as well as George. And it's one pork chop, um, the mayonnaise, mustard, pickles, ham and Swiss cheese. You can see how delicious that looks. There's a little bit of tomato that is fresh out of my garden. Um, just a little bit because if I eat too much, it'll actually mess with my blood sugar. And that's really what this is all about. So I hope you'll try this. I hope you'll give it a chance and see how it is. Um, you can always, you know, take stuff away or do other things. I, our youngest doesn't like mayonnaise. I don't put mayonnaise on his or pickles. He doesn't like pickles. So you can mess around and see what you want to do. As always, we thank you for watching and we hope you like it. Please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and uh, keep coming back for more. We'll try to post a video at least every week. All right, thanks guys. Peace out. Be good to each other.